With us now, Republican Congressman Mike Rogers of Michigan. He is chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Congressman, do you believe that the president has uh, successfully gotten the prime minister to uh, wait and let sanctions do what they can because there is increasing evidence that the Iranian uh, government is feeling the pressure of those sanctions. Yeah, I really don't think so. I think the, there are two different red lines, one that the President Obama has set out and when uh, the Israelis believe that they have to take action or they won't be able to take action against the Iranian nuclear uh, program and we have to remember Charlie all of the other things that are going on in Israel right now to understand I think where they're at Egypt uh, is now has become an unpredictable partner they're very concerned Hamas is now well armed thanks to Iran more so than they've ever been before Hezbollah up to 30,000 more accurate rockets aimed at Israel so they're looking at all of this pressure uh, and the fact that they believe if Iran goes nuclear uh, they believe Ahmadinejad when he said he'll use it uh, against the Israelis. So they're looking at it through a very different prism, I think, than we are. And therefore, they have a lower red line of we have to take action than the United States might have. So is that what you think was accomplished in this meeting between the president and the prime minister? That the prime minister wanted to make the point that we have a different red line and we want you to know that if in fact that red line is passed we will act and we will act independently and we will not necessarily notify you and we will not uh, even concur with you before we do because it's our responsibility to our history uh, I think that's right and that was really the same message I happened to be in Israel about two weeks ago met with the Prime Minister met with his octet met the people who influenced that decision they are very clear about the fact that they have to defend themselves uh, they're a little frustrated with the United States, not sure where they're going to be on this particular issue. And I think what you saw yesterday was just to try to reestablish that. Listen, we're going to defend ourselves. Uh, we, were, we are in a place that where we believe our time is running out when it comes to our ability to impact the Iranian nuclear program. And of course, the IAEA inspectors being thrown out recently didn't help that cause. So their argument is, yes, sanctions are hard. Yes, it's having a bite but they are still determined to get this the, nuclear the umbrella by going it, nuclear. The president is also making this point that Syria, uh, Iran's ally, is exploding as well and that may be something happening there and this is no time to get distracted from the fact that Syria, a primary ally of Iran, uh, is in trouble. That's true, but they will argue, and the Israelis argue, and I think rightly so, be more aggressive in Syria, and I'm not talking about direct military action. There are other things that we can do uh, to destabilize the Assad regime, bring it to a close quicker. That is a wound to Iran, but their ar argument is, remember, if right. the consequences of Iran going nuclear are so much bigger, uh, Saudi Arabia says they'll, go, they'll get a nuclear weapon, Egypt says they'll get a nuclear weapon, let me, and that, they believe, is, is really a threat to their existence. Let me interrupt you, because there is this report sure. coming out of Iran that Iran will grant UN inspectors access to a military complex where the UN nuclear agency suspects secret atomic work has been carried out. This is the Parchin installation. Doesn't that suggest that the sanctions are working and that perhaps uh, they should go, they should be allowed to seek its place? Well, now listen, I believe, I believe in sanctions. I think we have two schools of thought here. Where the Israelis are coming from, where the Iranians are coming from, I guess three schools of thought, and where the administration is. I think sanctions can work. I think we should draw them up now. There's other things that we can do that we're laying on the table. Draw it up and put as, as much pressure as we can. But remember, they denied that very site just a few weeks ago. Uh, right. We know that there was activity at that site, and now they're saying, well, you can come back with certain conditions. They don't want them to see everything at that particular site. Congressman you know, Rogers. As an old FBI agent, Charlie, we used to call that a clue. I mean, something yeah. bad's going on there. All right. Thank you so much, Congressman Rogers.